The Solent region is home to more than 1.2 million people and 50,000 businesses. It's a hotbed for industry and a key international trade gateway. But how will it look in 2050? We asked the business leaders of the future. Hovering cars and um, jetpacks and tubes going all around the all around cities and stuff. I think when you order, you'll be able to communicate by having like a chip in your ear, like a technology chip in your ear. So you'd like have to press it down, and you can you would speak, and it would go through like a like a microphone speaker thing and it will go through to somebody else's and if you let go of it you can hear somebody else speaking into your ear. Maybe the, the shops might be hovering, maybe. And you might just be able to touch what you want. It comes to you for transport. I think it will be delivered by a drone from a factory or wherever the food shop is and it will be delivered by a drone. Shopping, I'm not very keen on it. I did want to be a cyclist, but um, now doing STEM at school, I want to be an engineer in the RAF. I would like to be a design engineer and build a bridge to the Isle of Wight. I want to be a fashion designer. I have since I was like quite young, around four probably, because I like to do clothes. At the moment, we're doing a project at school. Like you have to use plastic to make clothes, and I enjoy doing that. I want to be an archaeologist when I'm older because um, I've always loved history and um, I love looking through my drawers and just looking at stuff from the past. It's on the radio like constantly, like my dad puts on and like Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. Now interrupting your favourite song to hear about Brexit. Maybe more land space for animals to live instead of chopping down trees to get um, wood. I'd keep the trees and probably plant a few more. But I just want to have a peaceful life with a family and nothing bothering really. I feel like in the future things will be better because people are starting to do things now. Like there's lots of projects that are happening around the world, which we were talking about last term with Mrs. Toon, our teacher. And so people are starting to do things about the problem that we have with like climate change and the bad plastic in the environment. I see it as a very close-knit uh, community and um, you can see definitely what is happening and what we're doing and striving to make the world a better place. I like living in the school because the schools are good, the education system is good, it's um, and I think it works with the right lunch techniques like no sugar and stuff, well low sugar at least, no, no nuts. But there's one thing which I would change about school lunches is make separate tables people with allergic to nuts so people can bring nuts in if like they like nuts and stuff. I think that would be a good idea. But what if it gets dropped on the floor and they go into assembly sitting there, what happens like that? Then I have no resulting of that. So there we have it. Views from some pupils at Goma Junior School in Gosport. They're positive about the future. The local industrial strategy is your invitation to help shape the region for 2050. We want people from across the Solent region to share their views of the future.